What do you think the number one ingredient in earwax is? Yeah, if we were going to make it on a cookbook, the biggest ingredient, what is it? If you guessed dead skin, you'd be correct. About 60% of earwax is comprised of dead skin. The rest is secretions from the body, specifically from the ceruminous and sebaceous glands, different oils from the body. As they're released, they give it that oily texture. That's what helps to hold that all the wax together, helps to catch all that dirt, debris, and other crud that gets down the ear canal. This is earwax removal vlog number 74. Today, we're gonna take a look at two ears. The first one is really impacted and there's gonna be a big chunk of skin that comes out, nice ribbon form that gives us a great wax removal because it comes out in that big chunk and the patient feels immediate satisfaction. You're watching as we use this curette, you can see it all kind of staying together. There's that oily surface on the wax that gives it that shimmer and shine but you can also see that dark portion that's been in there for a long time. So that earwax stayed together in one big ribbon. This is a great view of the eardrum here. Let's take a look next to a ruler so you can see the actual size of this ribbon that came out. That all came out in one chunk and again, immediate relief for the patient. If you like these wax removal videos, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. The second ear that we're going to look at is a little bit different. Again, it's this patient's other ear. So one ear, totally packed up. The second one, not quite as full, but definitely some scarring down in the eardrum. Now, during the case history, when we were talking to the patient, they disclosed that they had multiple eardrum ruptures when they were younger. They also had PE tubes uh, when they were younger. So they had a lot of ear infections and a lot of middle ear problems that led to multiple eardrum ruptures and multiple surgeries. So you can definitely see the scarring that's down there. As we get this wax out, let's take a look. Now again, this is just what was around the outside. You can see it's not nearly as much as what was on the other side. As we look down the ear canal, you can see the scarring on both sides. This scarring, again, the patient did report multiple eardrum ruptures plus PE tubes equals scarring like this on the eardrum. That type of scarring can definitely limit the eardrum mobility and possibly cause some hearing loss down the road. It's really important that if you have issues with your ears, that you have your hearing checked, we make sure it's not wax and again, it's always nice to get a picture of what's down there. This has been You Heard It Here with Dr. Gary. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.